cable wood choppers or cable oblique twists. This is what you have to look out for. So you're gonna choose a weight to where it's not light enough to where it doesn't pull you, but not heavy enough to where you have to struggle to keep it in position. You're not going to keep it straight in line. You're actually gonna angle off and you're gonna anchor down with this leg. If you look at my hand, I don't do a full grip. I actually open and I cup. And from right there, you twist. So once you do this full grip, your arm takes over. That's not what we want. This is going to actually make sure this anchored. And as you can see, my obliques and my abdominals are activating, just holding it here. But here, now I have a little bit more control using the arm. Cup, keep it open, and just twist. Turn, 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 turn. Feel the wall, and then you're going to go. Don't over-exaggerate the twist over here. Why? Because we're taking away the tension. Keep it to where you feel that wall, to where the tension is maintained, and then you go back. And you're going to feel this all on your right side. I suggest you do 10 to 15. And then you switch it up. Anchor down again. Switch hands. So now my left leg is back. I'm going to cup using my left hand. We, we, we never do the cross fingers. We keep it open. Right hand on top. And then I turn. I turn, I feel the wall, then I use my waist to turn. And that's your cable wood choppers slash cable oblique twists. There's been more coming. Make sure to hit that notification bell to make sure that you're notified for future videos, like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been, I'll talk to you later. Peace.